Hello, I'm so happy I got a hold of you. Welcome to another exciting episode of LT Showcase. Today we are looking at a Game Boy game, and this whole month we are looking at the Game Boy. So we're starting off with a game made by Shigeru Miyamoto that people don't really talk about. Mole Mania. Let's check it out. There's a lot of games out there, some of which you've never even heard of. That's where I come in. I'm Lucius T. I've been playing games since the age of two. And I have no life. This is Retroactive. I have gone on record as stating I am not a huge fan of puzzle games. I enjoy Tetris 99 and Wet Tricks, but it's just not my thing. Well, Mole Mania is making me rethink that stance. Mole Mania is a puzzle adventure game. You enter one of eight worlds labeled as levels in an attempt to rescue your family. Level 1 must be completed first. After that, you can attack levels 2 to 7 in any order. Level 8 is opened up afterwards. Now the story is you're a mole and your wife and kids are kidnapped by an evil villain. And it's up to you to save them. Sounds like Shigeru Miyamoto, all right. Now the rescue bits are some of the funnier moments of the game. The kids are hilarious. Also, playing this on the Super Game Boy gave me a nice background screen and unique colorizations throughout the game. Definitely the way I'd recommend playing it. Now each level consists of several screens that have to be solved and a boss fight at the end. The first few stages take 20 minutes or so, but some of the later levels can take upwards of two to three hours to beat. Every screen on the level consists of two planes, above ground and below. You are a mole after all, your main ability is digging a hole. While sitting in a hole, you are safe from damage. You can also peek through holes while underground. Each puzzle tasks you with throwing a bowling ball into a stone wall before you can move on. Now something the player has to keep in mind is going below ground causes a hole. A hole that cannot be filled unless you reset the screen or place a barrel in the hole. Now the bowling ball cannot be pushed or pulled over holes, so you should not dig holes for fun. Some screens have pre-existing holes you have to deal with too. Now if you grip the ball without moving, the mole will hulk up and allow you to send the ball flying in a straight line like Bomberman. This is a great way to attack enemies. However, if there is a hole along the path, it will get swallowed up and reset to its spawn location. Luckily, the charge allows you to throw the ball backwards over your head, meaning you can stand in a hole and flip the ball over it. Get used to this technique as it is used a lot. Now, I went into this game expecting a short Game Boy experience. Instead, it took me over 10 hours and 20 gigs of footage. Sometimes the best way to approach a screen is to sit back and map out the best course of action. Knowing that if I need to dig to get to the area on the other side that is currently blocked, I will leave one hole in my wake and one hole where I'm going. Now, if the bowling ball is to follow, I have to plan accordingly. If you mess up, you can always just walk back into the previous screen to reset. Now, as if that's not complicated enough, you also have a life meter and can only take four hits before you die. Health can be replenished at rest stops with a potion or sometimes in the puzzles themselves. Now, you'll also notice cabbages that litter the playing field as well. Levels contain a set number of cabbages, which are tracked on the pause screen. If you push four of these into a hole, you will get one health. They do not respawn. Now, cabbages can also be used to kill enemies, so be warned, disposing of the cabbages too quickly can make a screen harder if you fail it. Now, later levels will see the introduction of pipes, barrels, auto-push tiles, moving blocks, enemies that go underground, there's a lot to deal with. Not to mention, boss fights can be downright brutal. I recommend playing the game straight, levels 2 to 7, on your first playthrough as you will learn techniques that will build upon themselves. Each level also has a bonus challenge, a map, and a health pot that is tracked on the pause screen. In addition to the cabbages, collecting all those will give you the lauded 100 point score upon beating a level. Though what that does other than bragging rights, I don't know. Whilst the game can be frustrating, it is always fun. And if more puzzle games played like this, maybe I would like them more. Time for some Lucius metrics. Cost of entry. Sadly climbing. I just checked this and I'm glad I did. I got the game as part of a four game lot for I'd say $20 three years ago. Now it's going for close to $30 loose. It is totally worth that price, but still sad to see. Portable playability. High. 
As this is a Game Boy game, I should look at how well this would do as a game on the go, and I think it's great for that. Much like a single game of Tetris, I could see someone doing a single screen and then saving and turning off the Game Boy between short drives, or playing for the whole four hour car ride to grandma's if they have more time. Replay value. High. It's fun. For years, I haven't really been giving the Game Boy enough credit. This game really opened my eyes. I was blown away by not only how much fun this puzzle game was, but by how challenging it was. If you can find it, pick it up. I give this my Lucius T recommendation of beat it. And there you have it. That's it for this week. What a great game. What a great start to the month. I gotta tell you, I've already played all four games I'm playing this month, and I am dead wrong on the Game Boy, so... And also, Game Boy prices seem to be going up. <laughs> so, maybe uh, maybe that's why. People are starting to realize this now, but I am I am just consistently amazed by how good the quality of the Game Boy games are. If only I could play it on TV back in the day, I might have a much bigger Game Boy collection. So let me know if you've played Mole Mania. Let me know what you think about it. As a reminder, please like and subscribe to the channel. I release a new video every Tuesday. It's been so nice getting a hold of you. Take care.